Hey guys, happy Tuesday and welcome back or welcome if you're new. I hope your week is off to a great start so far. I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys today. I found a few fall and Halloween items, some random things, and then I found a beauty jackpot, which I will share at the end with you guys. I'm going to go ahead and start off with the fall and Halloween finds that I found. Now, I already did two larger hauls of mostly fall and Halloween so if you missed those videos, I will go ahead and link those down below for you guys. But I'm going to start off with these gorgeous scarves that I found by Juncture. And they have this fall bike print on them, which anything, honestly, with a bike print, I'm picking up. So I did pick up two of these because I like to use these to decorate um, tabletops with, so like end tables, things like that. So I did pick up two of those of the bike print and then I also got two with this fall leaf print on them. So these just look really good and you can also layer these of course and wear them as they're intended but I like to use these to decorate. I do it all the time with the different Dollar Tree scarves so I did pick up those and I found some new fall tumblers so these are perfect for iced coffee. And there was one other one to this collection. It was blue and I think it said grateful or gather or something like that. But I went ahead and just picked up these two. This green is my favorite. And let me go ahead and turn the lighting down because it's reflecting too much. But I don't know if that's any better. This one just says my favorite color is autumn. And it has gold leaves on it. And here's what the top looks like. They come out with these every year. So you can stick a straw down here or you can slide this across and I don't know, drink it like that. But I found that one and then this orange one that says gather with the gold pumpkins. It's kind of hard to see, but I love these for iced coffee. And then I did pick up one of these, which I think is intended for hot liquids, hot cocoa, coffee. Um, but I only picked up this one. They had a black and white buffalo check pattern, but I decided I don't need all of them. So I just picked out my favorite, which was this gnome print with all of the different hats. These are just so cute. I love all of the gnome prints that Dollar Tree is coming out with. And I like the grip on it. This one doesn't look like it like comes off very easily, so that's nice because a lot of times Dollar Tree comes out with these and the grip slips off very easily or becomes warped, but this one is like on there. So picked up that and I found this cute little pumpkin hanging candle votive. Super cute. You could pop a solar light in here too. I think that would be kind of cool to maybe illuminate your front porch or walkway. So I picked up that. I was really impressed to see this at Dollar Tree because this reminds me of something that would come out of Michael's or Hobby Lobby. And this was the only print that I saw, but you could pop it out right here, paint over it, put whatever you want on there. And you have a cute, easy DIY. And I just love the wooden bead detail. So found that in the picture frame section. Dollar Tree came out with their handmade cards for the Halloween season. I only picked up three. I picked three of my favorites. So I have this one that just says Happy Halloween, has a pop-up happy on it. These are so easy too to DIY. All you have to do is pop these into a picture frame from Dollar Tree and you have a really easy DIY for $2. Like this one, I think I'm gonna frame this and put it in a picture frame. So cute. And these cards aren't with like the Hallmark cards um, in the card section. These are usually on a standalone display in the front of the store. And then I found this one. And this one too would look really cute in a Dollar Tree picture frame. I found the cutest little paper 
gift bags for Halloween and I actually found these in the party section. I didn't find it with the rest of the Halloween decor and each set comes with three different prints. So this is all a ghost print on it. These are just so cute. And they're small enough to where you could do a cute little gift maybe for a neighbor if you're into doing, I think they call it booing, if you boo a neighbor and you leave a cute little gift on their porch. So I picked up this set and then I found a pumpkin set or theme. So I just think these are really cute. If you're doing a Halloween party, these would be nice too to leave a little gift in for your guests. Just something small, maybe some candy or a home baked goodie, maybe some muffins or cookies or something like that. And the last Halloween related item for this haul is I picked up two packs of candy corn and I didn't pick these up to eat because I can't stand the taste of candy corn. I haven't had it since I was a kid, but I still remember exactly what it tastes like and hard pass. But I did pick these up for decorative purposes. I'm going to probably throw these in a little mason jar and put a cute little pumpkin or something on top of it to decorate my coffee bar. So I did pick up two packs of those. And I do like to buy a lot of different candy for Halloween from Dollar Tree. Not all of it, but I just like the unique finds that you don't really see at like Walmart. So I will be hauling some of that in a future haul. All right, now let's get into the random things of this haul, starting with some new Jot stickers that I found this week. And if you didn't know this about me or you're new to my channel, my favorite thing to haul and collect from Dollar Tree is actually the stickers. Something about the stickers just makes me really happy just looking at them. And I also use them a lot in my journaling. So the ones that I found this week are actually, I think almost all of them are about food or food related. So let's start with this one. And it is front and back. It looks like the same stickers, but I love all of the foods on here. All of my favorite foods, French fries, coffee, pizza, burgers, eggs, avocado. So cute, even the little cola bottle. So I found that one. And then this one I think is all fruits with bases. And these would be really cute to use if maybe you're doing like a food or health journal. These would be awesome to use to decorate that. I found this one, little mushroom and broccoli are the cutest on here. So found that one. This one is all sweets. Like, how can you not just be happy when you look at stickers like this? I don't know. Is it just me? And then this one. This one makes me really happy. All of the cute dogs on here. Little Corgi and the little Dash Hound. Frenchies on there. So cute. Gotta love dogs. So picked those up and I found a new calendar. And this has little tear off um, notes on it. So it's kind of like a command center calendar. So you can hang it up right here. It has like this little metal hook and then you can write your shopping list. It's kind of covered up, but you can write your shopping list on here or a little note. And this is for the year 22, 2022, which will hopefully be better because we all know that 2020 and 2021 have been a dumpster fire, but moving on. <laughs> In the beauty section, I picked up a brush for my daughter and I liked the handle on this because it kind of curves. I picked that up for her, for her bathroom. And in the, I guess, bathroom section where they sell all the loofahs and things like that, I picked up a soap dispenser and toothbrush holder because we recently remodeled our bathroom, our hallway bathroom, and the color scheme is black, white, and gray. So I decided to pick these up and I'm actually going to decal these with my Cricut in like a Ray Dunn font. So I'll probably put like wash or suds or something on here. And then I'll put brush on this one. 
So I picked up those. I only found a couple of new, I guess, crafting or craftable items at Dollar Tree. I found these, I guess, candle pillars. Dollar Tree has a few different styles that they've come out with, but these ones are definitely new. So I picked these up because I want to make some sort of like cake stand or tiered tray for my coffee bar for Halloween. So I'll probably paint these black or orange. So I picked up two of those and then I found some new crafting stickers and these are like jewels. And they had these in all kinds of colors, but I just picked black. So these are kind of like jewel border stickers. And so I found that one and then I found this one. But how beautiful are those? These are excellent. Um, I've, done, I've used this kind of border sticker before on a tiered tray last year and I think I have that DIY on my channel. I actually use these to use around the border of the tiered tray for Halloween. I made like a skull uh, tiered tray and it came out really cool. You just paint over it. But these ones are gorgeous. I think I'm just going to leave those alone. I'm not going to paint over those. I picked up one um, cleaning item this week. I've repurchased these all the time. These are the scrub buddy sponges with the nail guard on them. So it has like this little gap. Let me actually take one out. But it has this little cut in here that is supposed to be like a nail guard to, I guess, protect your nails. But I don't know if I've mentioned this on my channel before, but I actually like to use these to clean that weird I guess ledge on my windowsill and this just slides right over that and you just clean it that way. So that's how I like to use these. Now let me show you guys the amazing beauty jackpot that I found this week at Dollar Tree. So for the past year they've been selling, Dollar Tree has been selling this brand called Ioni or I, I own, no Ioni and they have the best lashes. I love this brand of eyelashes. I actually don't buy them anywhere else anymore. They're comfortable, they're lightweight, and they're beautiful. They are faux mink lashes. So they look, I guess, more realistic than I guess the Ardell brand lashes or like Kiss brand lashes. So I hit a jackpot, I found all these different kinds and I'm going to go through them kind of quickly but I found wispy natural light and the packaging is beautiful on these lashes and then I found bubble gum my favorite packaging still is the day of the dead packaging that they did last year and there's just so many styles I like the more natural looking styles not the full dramatic um lashes but this one i'm so excited to try this is the natural cat eye so it kind of flares out on the outer corner then i found minty fresh and i did find these on a display it was kind of like an end cap display by the shampoo and body wash i didn't actually find this stuff in the makeup section at all and it was the cutest display. It was like a sweets display. And these are really neat. These are individual lash extensions. So I went ahead and picked up two packs because these are awesome. Just when you want a little bit extra um, in one area, like I like a little bit extra just on the outer corner, but you don't want to wear like a full set of lashes. So I went ahead and picked up two packs of those and then I found natural doll medium. So those were the lashes. And then I also picked up the lash glue, which I've used before and it's excellent. I love this lash glue by Ioni. And I still can't believe these lashes are only a dollar <laughs> because they're amazing. If you haven't tried them, I highly recommend that you do. And this was a very shocking find for me because that same brand came out with all of these different liquid lipsticks and glosses. I haven't tried them, but I'm so excited too because if they're, 
if they're as good as the eyelashes, I mean, this is going to be a jackpot item at Dollar Tree. So some of these are lip glosses and some of these are liquid lips. Let's start with the glosses. So I found the color Sweet Buzz and I will try to swatch these off camera for you guys. So this is Sweet Buzz and this says soft, non-sticky, shiny. So found Sweet Buzz and then I found this other color that's perfect for fall and it's called P, B, and J. So there's that. And then these ones are liquid lipsticks. So I found the color Sugar Cinnamon, another great color for fall. Then I found Cotton Candy. So I have high hopes for these. I really do, just because the lashes are so good. Like how could these not be? But I don't know if you guys, if you've tried these out already, um, leave a comment down below, let us know what you think. And then I found Berry Jam, beautiful red color. On the same display that I found the eyelashes and the liquid lipsticks, I also found more beauty products by this brand, which is so exciting. I can't wait to try these. I found a brow pencil. And again, I only found, I think, one shade. There wasn't a lot of shade options. Um, just because I was looking at what was left of the display. So I found dark brown, which I usually use a dark brown on my eyebrows anyways. So I found that. I found a brow gel. Also, I think in dark brown. Yeah, dark brown. So I found a brow gel. So I found that. And then I found an eyeliner in the color black and look at this packaging it's just so cute so i found an eyeliner and then i found this fat smoky chubby stick it says easy long lasting smoky primer and it says on the back to use it as a two-in-one as a primer or a matte black eyeshadow pencil so I can't wait to try these. Let me know again in the comments if you guys have already tried um, these beauty products by Ioni. I'm so excited to try these. I'll have to update you guys um, when I try all of this stuff out. So that was it for the collection that I found. And then the last couple of items are also beauty products. I picked up a Vaseline chapstick and this is a new, I guess, flavor. I usually get the red one and the, the aloe vera, but I haven't seen mint before. So I thought I would try that out. I love the Vaseline um, chapstick or lip therapy. I can't wear regular chapstick. Something about it irritates my lips and I break out. So I like to use the Vaseline brand. And then I found this shampoo bar in the um, shampoo or body wash aisle and I thought it was interesting at first I was like I don't know it seemed kind of gimmicky to me but then I thought about it and I was like how many times have I packed it, my shampoo and conditioner and then it got taken at the airport because I forgot about the three ounce rule or it spills all over my luggage so I think it's actually a genius idea now that I thought about it because it says travel tin included and you don't have to worry about this spilling out in your luggage or again, getting it taken at the airport. But I'm actually gonna smell it and see. It doesn't smell bad. It definitely smells like a clean scent. It's actually pretty strong. It almost smells like a I'm thinking of maybe Dial, the brand Dial, the Rainforest body wash. But it doesn't smell bad, but I like the little tin. I like that it's compact and again, it won't spill out in my luggage. So I'm definitely going to save this to travel with. 
All right, guys, so that's it for today's Dollar Tree haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Give me a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe on your way out if you aren't currently subscribed and love Dollar Tree hauls and crafting videos. And until my next video, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.